Failure to follow installation instructions and not using the provided hardware may damage the intake tube, throttle body, and engine. Tools needed to install kit number 63-3073 include a flat blade screwdriver, a T25 Torx socket, and a 2.5 millimeter and 4 millimeter Allen wrench. To start, turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Unlock and disconnect the crankcase vent tube from the intake tube. Disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Loosen the hose clamp which secures the stock intake tube to the throttle body. Lift up and remove the complete stock intake system from the vehicle. Install the provided gasket onto the mass air sensor adapter. Remove the two screws which secure the mass air sensor to the stock intake tube and then remove the mass air sensor from the intake tube. Install the mass air sensor into the K&N mass air sensor adapter and secure with the provided screws. Install the mass air sensor assembly into the K&N intake tube as shown and secure with the provided hardware. Note, be sure to install the mass air sensor with the opening towards the filter end of the tube. Remove the crankcase vent fitting from the stock intake tube. Install the provided grommet into the K&N intake tube. Install the factory crankcase vent fitting into the grommet. Remove the two intake tube mounting grommets from the stock intake tube. Note, the grommets may stick to the mounting studs when removing the system from the vehicle. Install the two mounting grommets into the K&N intake tube. Install the provided silicone hose, part 08619, onto the K&N intake tube and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the K&N air filter onto the K&N intake tube as shown and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the provided silicone hose, part 08761, onto the throttle body and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the K&N intake assembly on top of the radiator assembly and then connect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Install the K&N intake assembly into the silicone hose on the throttle body and onto the mounting studs. Secure with a provided hose clamp. Reconnect the crankcase vent line. Reconnect the crankcase vent hose assembly to the fitting installed into the K&N intake tube. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting your vehicle. It will be necessary for all K&N Performance air intake kits to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. Review the instruction sheets to make sure all steps were followed. After 100 miles of driving, check the nuts and bolts and retighten if necessary.